so hello all of you welcome back to our calculator session the next feature of the calculator which we are going to discuss is the stat mode again a very useful mode for performing quick statistical based calculations now again this is not something which you might be using very frequently but for certain topics certain calculations it can come very ha handy to you so first of all to work with the stat mode we have to enter the stat mode how to do that we have the mode button beside the on button and we press 2 for stat mode now as soon as you do this you have eight options on your calculator screen now for example the first one is a one variable now this entire thing is actually dependent on what kind of data you have what kind of data you have so if it's a one variable data you go for number one if it's a two variable data so you go for a plus bx or number two then let's say you have exponential data which means whatever x values you enter they have to be used <coughs> in the form of e to the power x or you have logarithmic data so they will be used in the form of ln x if you have reciprocal data then let's say if you are entering 5, 6, 7, 8, you want it to be interpreted as 1 by 5, 1 by 6, 1 by 7, 1 by 8. So these are your x values and these are your resulting values. Right? So for now, let's do all our examples using one variable. So as soon as you press one variable, you will have an option to input all your uh, data points. So let's randomly enter 5. 8, 9, 7. So let's enter 10 data points. Okay. Now once you have entered your data, you press AC. As long as you are not exiting the stat mode, this data will be stored as your statistical data. Now you have entered all your values. How to use them in statistics? You can see on top of the digit 1, there is in bold letters written stat, S-T-A-T, in yellow color. So we press shift stat. Now you get five options. First is type. In type, you will get the main menu which we uh, saw on entering the stat mode. So right now I'm not going into that menu. Second is data. Data is if you want to alter whatever data you have entered then you go into two. Okay let me just show you. One. As I said all the data types are given. Two. Whatever data you entered is given. Three. Three is all the summation statistics. What are the summation statistics? Let's see. It will calculate sigma x square and sigma x for you. You don't have to separately calculate both these figures. So let's say I want to calculate sigma x square. <coughs> as soon as I chose sigma x square, all the numbers which I had input get added up. Going back to our stat mode, we have uh, VAR, which is basically all the variance related calculations, all the uh, central tendency and dispersion related calculations. So let's see what options we have. We have n, which is number of data points. We have x bar, which is the sample mean. We have sigma x, which is the population standard deviation. Uh, and we have uh, sx, which is the sample standard deviation. So let's see, let's see n. As we had seen, we had entered 10 data points, so our n is coming as 10. Then let's say we have, um, let's look at sample standard deviation. So 4, sample standard deviation 4, 19.85. So instead of you applying the entire formula, the calculator has calculated the standard deviation for you. Okay. Then let's see, <coughs> finally the fifth option is min-max. Over here you can find out the minimum value in your data set and the maximum value in your data set. Let's see what was our maximum, our maximum was 56. What about the minimum? Minimum was 3. 
okay so how do we use this in our calculations now let's say i want to enter the formula for calculating mean we know that x bar is already an output in the stat mode but we want to uh, let's say check if it's accurate or not so the formula is sigma x by n we go into the stat mode where will we find sigma x we will find sigma x in the summation options so number 3 and 2 sigma x divided by again we enter into stat mode now we need n n we will get in option number 4 so we are getting it as 21.1 let's note it down we are getting it as 21.1 now let's see what was the x bar generated by them again as expected it is 21.1 so this is how you use your stat mode now for example if it's a two variable thing if it's a two variable thing we will go for option number 2 so option number 2 automatically you get two columns for inputting your data one for x values one for y values now let's input these i'm just inputting three sets for once okay i have input this now if we enter the stat mode so naturally we have a few different options why let's see in the summation now we have a variety of summations we have sigma x and sigma x square that was there earlier as well but now we have sigma y and y square we have sigma x into y we have sigma x cube sigma x square y and sigma x to the power 4 because these calculations are often used in different measures such as qness kurtosis etc you need these measures okay what about the uh, option 4 the different variables or the different statistics calculated we have means for both we have sds for both and we have uh, well sds for the sample as well as the population okay one more new option which we have is the regression naturally we know regression is always between two variables so we press 5 we have a we have b we have x hat y hat and r r is the correlation coefficient a and b are the different coefficients used in regression and x hat y hat are nothing but the estimated uh, values of x and y based on correlation and regression so you can uh, solve your correlation and regression smaller sums also using this method in the stat mode okay always remember once you are done with your stat mode make sure you are exiting it and coming back to the normal computation mode okay so thank you all of you